of course, you know, now if, I, if we ask a question, which should be easier, computing the median or doing sorting? Which is easier, computing the median or doing sorting? <laughs> computing the median should be easier. In fact, if you do sorting, if you sort an array, will you know the median or not? Yes, you will know the median. So if you sort an array, if you sort it, then just after sorting it, the item in the middle will be the median. So basically, sorting is going to give you the order of every element in the array. While the median, when you are interested in the median, you are not interested in knowing the order of every element in the array. You are only interested in knowing which element is going to rank in the middle. You know, which element will have its uh, uh, order in the middle. And you don't care about the order of other elements. So uh, solving the median problem or answering the median question should be easier because you are looking for less information. You only care who's in the middle. I don't care where the other elements are going to be. Okay. So given that, you know, we already know how to do sorting in n log n. So what does it mean? It means that we already know how to do sorting in n log n. So we know how to compute the median in n log n. So we just sort and pick the element in the middle. But the question, the interesting question, will it be possible to compute the median? in less than n log n? That's the question. And the answer is yes. There is a way of computing the median in less than n log n. And the method is, in fact, very similar to uh, quicksort. <coughs> so uh, how does this work? So this is the example that we will be using. Uh, six, two, nine, one, twelve, five, ten, three. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this case, the median is the element that ranks what? So in, when it's even here, we have an even number of elements. In fact, this is the lower median. Or let me not point here because you may think that it's the one. So lower median is uh, the third or at index three. The element at index three after we are done sorting. And higher median. at index 4. OK. So now, let's see if we can explore the, the algorithm. So if you have an array, let's, let's think of this abstractly. So we have this array. And we would like to know which element is, is going to rank third, or is going to be at index, will end, out, end up at index three. Now, if I, do the, if I do the partitioning, the same partitioning that I did with quicksort, and this is the pivot. And the pivot ends up being at index two. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm looking for the element at index 3. Now, if I do the partitioning and the pivot ends up being here, what does this, how does this help me find the median? Median's in the top. Yeah, well, I know for sure that the median is going to be here. Now remember that with the partitioning, this is still not sorted. Mm -hmm. So I know that the median is going to be one of these elements, but it's not necessarily this. 
because this has not been sorted yet. But what I know for sure is that the median is not going to be any of these elements. Because these elements, you know, these elements are the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And they're still not in order. They will be in this subarray, but they're not in order yet. And then I can repeat, repeat the same thing here. Right. And keep doing this. And how do you think I will find the median eventually? How will that lead to finding the median? What will, how will that end? When the pivot is the median value. Yeah, exactly. If, if you end up with the pivot being the median value, and in fact that will happen if you eventually end with an array of size 1. If there is an array of size 1, then that element is the pivot and is everything. So it's, uh, it's going to be that what you are looking for. So you keep dividing. So you are narrowing down the search for the median. So let's apply it now to this. Again, let's now pick this as a medium. Now we are interested in the element at index 3. OK. Now. This is larger than the pivot, no swap. Smaller than the pivot, we swap it. So we will get this. Two, six, nine, one, twelve, five, ten, three. Now we are at nine. Do we swap here? No swap because it's larger than the pivot. One, we swap it with? Six. Yeah. We swap the one with? Six. So now we have this. Two, one, nine, six, twelve, five, ten, three. Now we are at 12. What do we do with the 12? Do we swap it? No, it's larger than the pivot. So if it's larger than the pivot, no swap. Larger than the pivot, larger than the pivot, so no swap. <laughs> OK. Then what's the, what do we swap the pivot with? Nine. With 9 or? Nine. Yeah, we swap it with 9. So this is just the partitioning that we were doing in quicksort. So this is 2, 1. 3, 6, 12, 5, 10, 9. Now the pivot is here. So what does this tell us? Should we now eliminate the left subarray or the right subarray? We eliminate the left and we keep the right because we're looking for order 3. So we keep the right. So now we have 6. 12, 5, 10, and 9. Now our pivot is 9. Smaller than the pivot, no need to swap at this point. Uh, no swap. 5, we swap it with 12. So we have this 6, uh, 5, 12, 10, 9, then 10 is larger than the pivot, so no swap. So now the pivot will get swapped with, with 12. Six, five. Nine, ten, twelve. Okay. And now the pivot is this. So now should we eliminate the left or the right? right. We eliminate the right because we're looking for order three. So we eliminate the right and we work with the left. And the left is this. So we know that six and five, one of them is going to be the third element. 
Now 6 and 5, we pick 5 as the pivot. Then we swap it with the 6. And that's going to give 5, 6. And now, you know, the pivot is in position 3. So when the pivot is in position 3, we know that the pivot is always in the right place. So this means that the median is 5. Or the, <coughs> the lower median, the lower median or the element <coughs> at index 3 is 5. <coughs> okay? So now this is, the, this is an algorithm for finding the median. Now the big question is, what's the running time for this algorithm? And how does it compare to quicksort? And do you expect it to be faster or s slower than quicksort? And why? Faster than quicksort, and why? What's the main reason? They're ignoring the because, w yeah? Less divisions. Less divisions. No, in fact, no, it's not going to be less divisions. We are ignoring the part that is not used. Yeah, exactly. You are working only on one half. What makes it faster than quicksort is that you eliminate one half, and you only, well, it's not necessarily one half. Sorry, one subarray. <coughs> it's not. You know, we would love it to be a half, but in most cases, it's not going to be a half. In fact, if it's half, it's, we will get the <coughs> median at the, at the first shot. By the way, if we are lucky enough, the first time we do partitioning, the pivot will end up being at the median position, and we will find the median in... No, not constant. We'll have to do the partitioning. So you have to remember that you have to do the partition. You don't know the pivot until you do the partitioning. So in order to know the, pi the sorry, where the pivot ends up, you have to do the partitioning. So you will find it in theta of n. 